Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with a quick look at the 6-inch Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Huawei's Mate series is the company's flagship Android product, and the Mate 10 Pro, which actually launched last year, is on point here with some impressive hardware specs, a super polished and premium build quality, IP67 water and dust resistance, as well as a pair of high-resolution cameras on its backside. We have a titanium gray unit here with 128 gigabytes of onboard storage but as you can see its chassis picks up and reflects light around it so it can look like different colors in different settings which is actually kind of cool the mate 10 pro is based on a 6 inch oled display with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio and a 2160 by 1080 resolution with 402 ppi pixel density this display is nice and bright with a 70,000 to 1 contrast ratio and 112 percent ntsc color gamut coverage it looks great and stands up well in bright sunlight conditions and even comes with a pre-applied screen protector already on board. It also has a relatively thin top and bottom bezel with generally efficient use of screen real estate. The rest of the phone is an all glass affair and easily matches the build quality of the latest crop of Android phones like the Samsung Galaxy S9, LG V30, or Google Pixel 2. It is, however, a rather high gloss device and a total fingerprint magnet in the color we have here. What's not on board, unfortunately, is wireless charging. However, under the hood is Huawei's stout Kirin 970 processor with its octal core CPU with four ARM Cortex A73 cores and four ARM Cortex A53 efficiency cores, as well as an i7 coprocessor for sensor input processing and an ARM Mali G72 M12 GPU for graphics rendering workloads. Also on board is an NPU or Neural Processing Unit for AI Assist and 6 gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM at 1833 megahertz, as well as, again, a bodacious 128 gigabytes of onboard storage. However, though the Mate 10 Pro does offer a dual SIM slot, it does not have expandable storage via micro SD slot. That may or may not be an issue with its healthy 128 gigs of storage, but the other area Huawei went big on was the Mate 10 Pro's battery, rated at 4,000 milliamp hours, no less. On the bottom of the Mate 10 Pro, there's a USB-C sync and charge port, a microphone, and a speaker port. Unfortunately, there's no standard headphone jack here, however. On the right edge is both a volume rocker and a power slash screen lock button. And on top, there's an IR blaster for universal remote control functionality and another mic. And finally, on the left side is a dual SIM slot for the Mate 10 Pro. With the phone, you get a standard issue quick charge AC adapter and a sync and charge USB-C to USB type A cable. A pair of very Apple EarPod-esque earbuds that actually sound pretty good. And yes, there's no standard headphone jack here, so you're going to need the included USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack dongle. Bummer. You also get a SIM key tool and the thoughtful inclusion of a fitted clear case for the Mate 10 Pro. I'm a fan of clear cases since they at least partially show through the natural beauty of a device. Good call, Huawei. But the amped up specs for the Mate 10 Pro don't end there. The camera on this phone is completely off the hook with both a 12 megapixel f1.6 aperture and 20 megapixel f1.6 aperture shooter on its rear side, both with optical image stabilization and the ability to shoot 4K video and 1080p 60 video as well. It also sports an obligatory 8 megapixel front selfie cam, of course, but regardless, the hardware specs of the Mate 10 Pro offer lots of potential. In fact, the camera is able to produce some impressive depth of field bokeh effects in wide aperture mode especially, and it's clear the Mate 10 Pro is capable of hanging with some of the best Android phones in the market currently in terms of camera performance. Low light camera response is solid with good noise reduction technique, while challenging mixed shots show good HDR lighting response, range, and clarity. However, it does feel like Huawei's camera software is holding things back a bit. There are a bevy of shot modes to choose from, and though Huawei offers a comprehensive 
Pro mode, it does feel like better auto shot mode camera response could be simplified. Is this a showstopper? Absolutely not. Make no mistake, the Mate 10 Pro's camera is worthy of its premium Pro status. It just feels like Huawei maybe should have stuck with a more stock Android 8 Oreo camera setup rather than trying to reinvent the wheel. And that's really where the rubber meets the road with the Mate 10 Pro. The phone feels slick, handles smoothly, responds nimbly, and mostly looks great while running everyday chores, but Huawei's EMUI skin over Android Oreo is heavier than most, and it's not quite as easy to navigate. There's a tweaked app tray here, but EMUI instead dumps them all in an alphabetized menu, and though you get standard quick access device settings and control, the Mate 10 Pro lacks always on display notifications and other features that are baked into Android 8. That said, again, the Mate 10 Pro still handles most workloads and requirements with a plume. In fact, everything about the phone, especially with its healthy 6 gig of RAM setup, just feels responsive. In the benchmarks, from a CPU throughput standpoint, the Mate 10 Pro's Kirin 970 processor is faster than a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 in devices like the Google Pixel 2, but not quite up to par with a Snapdragon 845 in the Samsung Galaxy S9 or the beastly Apple A11 Bionic in the iPhone 10. In terms of gaming and graphics, it's more of the same, faster than a Snapdragon 835, but unable to keep pace with the new crop of Snapdragon 845 devices that's on the way, or Apple's A11. Regardless, in practice, and in daily driver use cases, this phone feels and responds like a true power user's device. And then there's the Mate 10 Pro's fantastic battery life, with its burly 4000 mAh battery, power sipping ARM A73 cores, and Android Oreo doze features. This phone is a battery beast that will last all day and then some, with standby time that almost doesn't seem to budge. Again, there's no wireless charging here, but you're not going to need it as much with the Mate 10 Pro. The Mate 10 Pro is kind of an enigma, really. It's packed full of features, horsepower, and great hardware. Huawei even built in some newer innovations like real-time translation with the camera or over text conversation, courtesy of Microsoft Translator. There are actually very few checkboxes missed here. And really, all told, the Huawei Mate 10 Pro is an impressive Android flagship with beautiful premium build quality, a top-notch OLED display, an excellent camera, and great all-around performance. At $799 unlocked with 128 gigabytes of storage, it's a reasonably competitive value as well in high-end devices. If you can get past its slightly dated and bloated software skin mucking things up from time to time with Android 8, you likely won't be disappointed. But make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review and all of our deep dive analysis. And hit a thumbs up here if you enjoyed this video review and subscribe to us for more tech review action and our always jovial Two and a Half Geeks webcast. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Thanks for stopping by.